Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about output caching. The main purpose of using output caching is to dramatically improve the performance of an ASP.NET MVC application. It enables us to cache the content returned by any controller method so that the same content does not need to be generated each time the same controller method is involved. Output caching has a huge advantage such as it reduces server round trip, reduces database server round trips, reduce network traffic. Let's see an example. Just open Visual Studio, select that. Just create one controller. Create one view. Just select that and create one view. First, we'll check with the day, date time. Just like here, we'll write that view back. Dot current date time. So to run date time dot now. Make a cursor then make a string format. Just run this and this one display in name. Let's see. Let's run this application. See, now you are getting that current date time with second. Because every time if you will replace, then see that time is going to change. Means every request is going to server and get that date time. It's not good for performance. So once you will use that output catch, so we will not press that problem. Just how to use that output catch. output cache there is just so bunch of parameters properties is there like a properties first is that duration duration that is for second just like if you mention that five second what it means if duration is five second then this value will be preserved and after second after five second again it will go to that server and get that value just on the application See now it said 23 five seconds. Again, if you will run after five after five seconds, the value will change. See, if I'm refreshing that one, its value is not going to change. After five seconds, again if you replace, then value will change. Like a see 844, 54, 11. After five seconds, always it will change. Plus 15, if you replace again, replace again. After five seconds, it's going to change. Let's increase that time so it will be easy to press time. Make it 10 seconds. It's always 50 seconds. Just 
just say 51. So if I will replace, the time will not change. Again, if you replace the time because it's reserved data, it's saying it's not going to the server and get that value. Always it's displaying 51. After 10 seconds, it will be changed. See, after 10 seconds, its value is changed. The other part of parameter is that very wide parameter. So we will check that where we will use this one. Let's take example. Let's create one implied model. Let's create one class that's name is implied. The space thin up I have copied this one. First one is that implied. Second one is that marks. Here I had created one implied class and with uh, three properties. First one is a implied ID, second one is a marks and subjects. So here I have added some value. This implied ID and uh, subject with implied is, is here and it's a different. See for first is one, two and three. So we'll see that uh, what's the problem and we will use that uh, output cache create one more action result If it's a null, because here I have added that nullable term. If it's a null, then same battery. If it does not equal to null, then it will filter out. Equal to list of them five dot where condition. Okay. So here I'm going to use that output cast. But here I am using very well params is equal to none. See what's the problem you will face once you will use that very well param is equal to none. And the view will going to add so we will, we will display the data of employer just and for which And here 
fully qualified me dot employees This one will be the I in order. subject and then marks. Just send that application. Now here I am adding that I enumerable because I am returning from that index imply that I enumerable here that list of. So here I am displaying that one that value that imply is subject and marks. And one more thing that is the control and that action methods we are passing that ID. ID is like a employee ID. So and here I am filtering with that employee ID. So we'll check that so it's filtering or not. Right here, home controller with print line. I will pass that parameter ID equal to one. Yes. To remove this double quote. See here actually it's displaying that this one but we, first we have to increase that time. So if you filter with one you are getting this value. In fact if you will change this one for two see value is it's not changing. For 10 seconds same data is displaying but you are passing with the two. That's why you pass it from the two it should display from here that uh, second of record second of the data so display here but it's not displaying because that output cache you preserve that value and every request you are getting same value that's why we are going to use that very by parameter let's check one more times make it 15 seconds run it again Let's write that imply dot imply slash uh, home slash imply id equal to one. Let's first display that id is equal to one. If you want to change that id, if you write it in two, see the data is not changing. In fact, we will check in a breakpoint also. If we make a breakpoint, I will look that it's coming or not. It will not. It will not come. See after 50 seconds again it's skin. If you run that second of record is displaying. If you change again, it's not coming. 
because that data is preserved for 50 second for 15 second just close it. that's that's why we are using that very very perhaps if you put that id here and every request first it will check that id if its id is same then data will display same data is will display if id it will check that id is different then it with the difference of that id that data will be Now you can see that one employee ID one data is displayed. If you will change that one, that two, that two data will display. See, that two data is displayed. If we change again three, then three data will display. If we change to one, then one data will display. Because of that ID, that vary by params. That's why we can do. So once you are using just like if you. Fixed record is there. That time no need to require to verify reference. But at the reference of users, means like user one login to and he want to see on data with the filter of user ID. That time you can use that verify reference. And you are quite thinking that once where the content is cached. By default, when you use output cache attributes, cache is cache in the three location the web server in proxy server and the web browser you can control exactly where the content is cached by modify the location property of the output cache so here one more property is there location location so you, you can write that where you can where you want to save the data because mostly that secure data is always is storing so you should store in a client but by default it's a in so if you are bad thinking that so if you want to change the time like if 15 second later if in the future so you if you want to change in 20 seconds so how you will change you are going to change a one by one action method you are going to change so there is one solution for that you can use that caching profile so just like here you mentioned that at 15 so means like say later if you want to 20 so what you have to do you have to change here that 20 and again you have to build that kind and deploy that so that's a problem you can solve with that cache cache profile so you see that's how to use that cache profile go to the web config and that system that is then caching output cache setting output cache then here i have to create that profile then here add the profile name cache for the 10 second this the name duration 10 second and if you write that very very well for now you can write the id so this name you can use it here so no need to write this one that much okay you can write only cash it cash it look fine that's all so means if later if you want to change that one that 10 second to 20 seconds only you have to change in web config and because if you are going to change in a web config no need to build and if not just in the server you can change the 20 so in the every part of that application an action method will use that once you are going to change to 10 to 20 so that 20 will use just check it if it work
Boom dot and boom. So it's working. You can check with that index one. You can get one more profile. Catch for 10 seconds. Otherwise, you can do one for 10 seconds. No need to require very well from just take it. Just this one we can use with that index action method. So here you can use that output cache duration. So here we can check that one. Cache token. So here we can check that one if that one cache or file is working or not. So just uh, because this one is for 10 seconds. See this one is land 47 in the full refresh data is not changing but till 10 seconds see after 10 seconds data is changed see now it's not changing so now you understand that how to use cache profile check one more times here I am creating in the web config you have to create that cache profile first you have to add caching output caching setting and output to cache profile and here you can add that one that cache profile with the name and duration and parameter I think hope it's, it's a clear thanks for watching